हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर वीडियो क्लास दिस क्लास इज फॉर फोर्थ सेमिस्टर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स डिप्लोमा इन टूडेज क्लास इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रांसड्यूसर्स आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस क्लास यू विल बी एबल टू define what is transducer what are the parts of the transducer and the types of transducer in generally in normal layman language we can say a transducer is an electronic device that converts uh, energy from one form to another and in the way which the conversion of energy takes place from one form to another is known as transduction an electrical transducer is a device which is capable of converting physical quantities into a proportional electrical quantity such as voltage or electric current etc hence it converts any quantity to be measured into a usable electrical signal that is uh, we can say the physical quantity which is to be measured can be it can be pressure it can be temperature it can be displacement any physical quantity the output which is obtained from the transducer is in the electrical form and is equivalent to the measured quantity we can take a example a temperature transducer which convert temperature to an equivalent electrical potential this output signal which is generated from this uh, transducer is can be used to control the physical quantity or display we can say a transducer is any device that converts one form of energy into a readable signal many of the transducers have an input that is then converted to a proportional electrical signal common inputs are energy torque light force positions accelerations or other physical properties are there then we will um, come uh, discuss um, the output obtained from the transducer is always in the electrical form which is proportional to the measured quantity we can take an example if a load cell will convert an applied force to an electrical potential that is equivalent uh, in this case the force is measured with a strain gas in a wheelstone breeze is a configuration the strain gas measures the electrical changes in response to one applied force these are all about a general idea about the transducer instrumentation is the heart of industrial application instrumentation is the art and science of measuring controlling different variable such as we can say instrumentation is the art of measuring controlling different variables such as flow label temperature angle displacement other etc variables a basic instrumentation and instrumentation system consists of various devices one of the device uh, we can say we can take an example is a transducer a transducer which plays a very important role in any instrumentation system next we will um, 
cover uh, what are the sensing element we can say um, some common uh, sorry um, what is uh, the part of the trans transducers first of all in this section we see that a transducer generally consists of two important parts first is your we can say a transducer generally consists of two important parts one is sensing element another is transduction element here you can see this is the sensing element and this is the transduction element here you can see this is the sensing element and this is the transduction element uh, first uh, a transducer have uh, other vital parts such as signal processing equipment amplifiers power suppliers etc but the two important part is sensing element and transduction element the sensing element is the part of a transducer uh, that responds to the physical sensation the response of the sensing element depends upon the physical phenomena here you can see sensing element it is the part of the transducer that responds to the physical sensation that response of the sensing element depends on the physical phenomena next your transduction element already we have discussed what is transduction the process in which a transducer um, transfer the signal one form to another form that is known as trans um, transduction process the transduction element of the transducer converts the output of the sensing element into an electrical signal the transduction element is also called the secondary transducer normally we can say um, the sensing element and transduction element are the um, important part of a sensor next uh, we will uh, discuss about the types of transducers now we will discuss about uh, the classification of transducer the transducers are mainly uh, divided into various types uh, some of them are active transducer one is active transducer another is analog transducer uh, on the basis of transduction principle use they are divided on the primary and the secondary transducers and the next is transducer and inverse transducers resistive transducer in detail we will discuss about all these transducer first we will discuss about what is active transducer active transducer these transducers do not need any external power source for its operation so it can be called as self generating type transducer and they operate under the energy conversion principle so it doesn't require any external power source and produce an analog voltage or current when stimulated by some physical form of energy 
we can take example of active transducers is a thermocouple is a photovoltaic cell is a thermopiles or is a piezoelectric next we'll discuss passive transducer this type of transducer needs an external power source for energy conversion mostly a dc power supply or an audio frequency generator is used as an external power source and the variation in the resistance capacitance and inductance is um, differential um, is we can say is the output signal in response to the quantity being measured next we can take example of passive transmitter transducers are thermistor strain gauge resistance strain gauge differential transformer etc next we will discuss what is a primary and secondary transducer primary transducers have a, certain transducers have mechanical as well as electrical device the mechanical device which converts the physical quantity to be measured into a mechanical signal and such mechanical device is called as primary transducer and they deal with the physical quantity to be measured the electrical device uh, then converts the me mechanical signal into a corresponding electrical signal such electrical signal are called secondary transducer when the mechanical device convert the physical quantity to be a measured mechanical signal such mechanical device is called as physical quantity sorry physical transducer and the electrical device when a electrical device converts the mechanical signal into a corresponding electrical signal such electrical signal are called secondary transducer vice versa each other, both are um, complementary to each other then transducer and inverse transducer a transducer can convert non-electrical quantity into electrical quantity while an inverse transducer can convert electrical quantity into a non-electrical quantity this is the transducer and inverse transducer next we will discuss about analog and digital transducer in analog transducer with the variation of input there is a continuous variation output it states that when we will change the input the output also changes this type of transducers converts the input quantity into an analog output which is a continuous function of time example you can take strain gauge thermocouple thermistor in digital transducers we are discuss about we have discussed about analog type now the digital transducer with the variation of input there is a digital or discrete type of output examples are a digital encoder vibrating string transducers are the example of this type next resistive transducer resistive transducer are transducers in which resistance changes due to the change in some physical phenomena potentiometer strain gauge and uh, thermo thermistor is the uh, is our uh, example of resistance um, transducer first of all potentiometer this type of resistive transducer is used for voltage division 
they consist of resistive element provided with a sliding contact and the sliding contact is called a wiper the potentiometer use electrical resistance as a means of measuring position uh, strain gauze uh, about potentiometer about strain gauze and about thermistor we will discuss in the later part of this chapter now for your knowledge we can know resistive trans transducers as a, is are of three types potentiometer strain gauze and thermistor and many more so, but we have to study this three types of transducers next we will discuss what are the factors are to be considered while selecting or while um, and if, um, um, selecting a transducer let us discuss about this thus what are the factors that must be considered while selecting a transducer first of all we have to check or bother about its sensitivity it must be sensitive enough to produce detectable output while selecting a transducer we have to focus about its sensitivity we have to give more importance above on it sensitivity then its operating range operating range requirement is very needed and it must have a good resolution over the entire range next your accuracy high accuracy must be assured next your avoid errors transducer must maintain the input output relation as described by the transfer function in order to avoid errors accuracy and errors uh, um, uh, should be avoided and accuracy must be maintained while selecting a transducer these factors are given to be more emphasized while selecting a transducers according to the operating principle mostly transducers are selected according to the operating principle used by them and the used operating principle could be resistive or could be inductive or could be capacitive or piezoelectric transient and frequency response it should be meet the desired time domain specification likewise your rising time settling time small dynamic errors these are to be uh, specifically man maintained next your loading effects to avoid loading effects a transducer should have high input importance and low output imp impedance next year environmental compatibility the selected transducer must be compatible with the environmental conditions and it must maintain its input and output relation and must not break down next avoid unwanted signals the transducer should be able to avoid or less sensitive to unwanted signals and it should be highly sensitive to the desired now we will discuss about what is the difference between a transducer and a sensor these two words are very closely related but somehow there is certain differences there are different type of sensors available and can be used for remote sensing such as the most general example as the motion sensor which is used in numerous system such as automatic doors security lights they send some kind of signal like ultrasonic waves microwaves or light beams or sense when there is an interruption of the flow the type of input and output of the transducer being used depends upon the kind of signal and sensed or controlled now we will discuss what is the main difference significant different difference
first a transducer which helps in converting one form of energy into another form but the sensor it sends the physical quantity and converts into signal which are ready by the instrument next year secondly the transducer converts electric electricity to electromagnetic waves and a sensor which sends physical quantity and converts into an analog quantity in case of transducer the antenna is one type of transducer microphones lights loudspeakers are also one type of transducers one type of sensor is led sensors used in automobiles to detect touch and active the siren next year transducer converts the measured quantity into a standard electrical signal like we can take a uh, 10 to minus 10 to plus 10 dc volt it is and the sensor is used to measure voltage capacitance inductance ohmic resistance etc these values are measured by the sensor these are all about your introduction to transport transducer this class is about introduction to transducer what is the transducer what is the basic difference between transducer and the sensor and what are its classification with this we will conclude this class in our next video we will con con continue this uh, chapter transducer thank you all